Okay guys, so I also got in my curated bead box for June. Um, it's called the Enchanted Forest. That's our theme this month. Um, I was actually floored for this one. I've actually looked in it so I know what's in here, but um, I wanted to kind of get um, the um, tissue paper out of the way and then everything kind of caught my eye when I opened it. So I will show you what's in this, but this bo box um, runs $20 a month and that includes your shipping. Um, and then if you're not subscribed to this box, there are several people out there. I don't personally have a code for this box either, um, but there are several people that do. Um, I know that um, Gina from Orchid and Opal does. I think Wendy does as well. Um, I know there are several others. But that coupon code will save you 35% off on your first box if you're not subscribed, which makes your first box $13. So that's a huge savings on your first box. If you're interested in um, subscribing to this box, go and look for that code because that's a $7 saving. That's huge. So um, in this box, you normally get <clears throat> a variety of glass beads for the most part. I don't know why my camera's doing that. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, for the most part, uh, you usually get one gemstone strand. However, what caught my eye this month is the fact that we got nine gemstone strands in this month's box. So I'm going to show you what's in this month's box because I was floored about it. And I'm not usually a green fan and this whole thing is actually centered around green, but it was truly surprising to me. So I'm going to show you guys what's in this box. And the coolest thing about this box is that it comes with a finding starter pack. So it comes with um, head pins, ear wires, crimp beads, three different stringing um, wires and stuff. Like I think it memory wire, tiger tail, and stretch string. Um, then what else? Oh, jump rings, lobster claws. So basically anything that you're going to need to start making something right now, you will get in this box. So the only thing you would need on top of that is a tool. That's why I love this box. For beginners, it's amazing. You can immediately get this box and make something. So I'm going to turn you guys around and we will look at what's in this month's box. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, so this is what your box looks like. Um... I also want to give a, a shout out to this mat again. I got this mat at Ringberries. It's a huge mat. It is a 14 by 22 size mat. Ringberries is a site on Etsy. This is their card. And I had a coupon from Bronze Pony that saved me 10% off. And I bought um, several of them because they had the option to do a payment plan if you um, bought at up to a certain amount. So I went in and did that and I love this mat. It is awesome. It covers a ton of my table. So love it. So I just wanted to give a shout out to that again. <clears throat> and then, so this is what the box looks like. This is your key here on the front. And I kind of went through and did some marking because I was floored at what was in this box. So um, one thing that they give you a disclaimer on on the bottom is that um, your bead size, sizes may change depending on availability. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, this one was called Enchanted Forest. And um, these are your product codes right here to go back and order things again. So normally, when you open this, it is wrapped in tissue paper. However, I went ahead and took the tissue paper out because I didn't want to do a bunch of crinkling on camera. So that's what ended up um making me see all of gemstones so this is your findings pack and i will show you each piece um at the end piece by piece then let me get all these beads out okay. sorry
so first we have a strand of 10 millimeter pale green faceted glass beads and it says it's a 13 inch string and that is these these are really pretty pale green and like i said i'm not really a green person but i really do like these they're very pretty their facets really sparkle i really like that so that's usually what you'll find in this box so it's not usually a ton of gemstone shrimps which floored me so that's what caught my eye this month. Next, we have seven eight millimeter strands of gemstones. So they are each approximately seven to eight inches. Here is one. It's just like um, a black. I have no clue what any of these actually are because they don't name them. Here is another got a bunch of mixed tones some creams some blacks some grays really pretty now these ones I believe are agate because I have a similar strand in a smaller size but light grays creams whites okay <clears throat> these I think are jade they're in that beautiful light green these are probably an agate as well I really love this one single blue bead on here that's awesome okay so that's two four five these I know are jade. They're a very dark hunter green. Except for a couple like this one here. So that's your sixth. And number seven. So this one here. I think these ones are also an agate. So there are all your gemstones. Like I said, I was floored when I opened this box and I saw all these gemstones. You normally do not get a ton of gemstones. Normally you get one strand, but we did this month. So there's your seven. Then you got two six millimeter gemstone strands. So here's this one. Oop, if I can get a hold of it. I have no clue what this is. It's not an agate. Maybe a jade. <clears throat> this one I think is for sure a jade. Those are your two six millimeters. Then you have one ounce of green aqua lampward Lampwork glass bead mix. So that is these. I love when we get these little um, Lampwork glass mixes. They're always so pretty. And you have no clue what's going to be coming. Okay, and I appear to have one stuck. So give me just a second. I'm going to get my bead reamer. Let's see if I can't poke that out. without breaking it. Come on. Okay, there we go. I got it out and I didn't break it, yay. So we got this big coin bead. It's got foiling in the middle. It's really pretty. Then we've got several of these donut ones. Um, light green, dark green. Okay. Then here's another one of those, um, coin beads with foiling in the middle, although it's a tiny version of it. Um, this one is too, but in a very, very pretty light peridot green. These are the ones that have, they're blown glass and they have um, glitter in them. They're really pretty. 
Oh, I missed one. This one might be one too. We're gonna go with that. That little tiny bead that was stuck in the other one is a little tiny blue bead. Um, it does appear to be foiled on the inside of the hole. This one is another one of those little coin ones, except it's dirty, so you can't really see the foiling. But it is in there. Here are two of the same glass, like, um, this is a, one of those dirty topaz beads. So what do they call that? Is it Colorado topaz? Correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> and then this great big yellow bulky lampwork bead. So there's all that. Next, you've got a four millimeter metal rhinestone spacer beads. 10 beads. Oh, yes. So, so our rhinestone spacer beads. That's what these are. They're really pretty. They're saying these are four millimeter ones. They're bright and shiny. Gorgeous. Okay. Then we've got 20 by 8 millimeter so silver metal three hole rhinestone connectors so that's these and i'm really glad to have these these will work great for like memory wire bracelets to spread out your bracelet pieces so glad to have these these are really pretty oh if i can get them to hold still so that's what these look like and your holes are on the side here and they've got three holes so there's those. We've got 30 by 22 millimeter green striped oval lamp art glass beads, five beads. So these things are huge. Um, these are probably some of the biggest beads I've seen, um, but they're really cool. I wish I had something here to compare it to. So this is a little pendant I have up at the top of my desk. This is about the size of a quarter. And these beads are longer, not quite wider, but they're definitely longer. <clears throat> so they're probably about as wide as a nickel. And your hole goes through the center there. But I love the striations of the stripes. They're really, really cool. And each one is unique. So, love those. And you got five of them. <coughs> Sorry, guys, about my throat. <coughs> then you got a 12 millimeter silver green glass pearl bead strand. Approximately 18 beads. That's this. So, it's really hard to see the green in there, but they are silver and green, like a mixture of both. They're really pretty. Here's a look at your holes. So, these aren't your top quality pearls by any means, but they are still good to use. So, there's that one. Sorry, that was uh, my daughter here in the background. Then last but not least in this one is a 28 by 42 millimeter white dyed turquoise silver metal pendant. I really like this. It's very, very cool. And I think it's a great addition to this collection. So there's that. That's everything in the actual box. And then for your findings pack. <clears throat> so every findings pack has the same thing in it. You get... A bag with a length of stretch cord then you get some memory wire and usually you get about six rounds you get some tiger tail and some crimp beads some lobster claw clasps and you get four of them 
some jump rings. I absolutely love these jump rings because these are like 18 gauge jump rings. They're very thick and sturdy and they hold your stuff together. So if you have like a purse charm or something where you want your stuff to stay, those are great to use. Ear wires. And last but not least, some head pins. Now you definitely will have to straighten out these head pins. They're just the generic kind, but they're still usable head pins. So that's what I love about this. Once again, this box is $20 a month. I will put all the particulars down there in the description box below. And um, any questions or comments you can leave in the comment section below or contact me through my information, which will also be in the description box. So that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys.